but there's but it's a serious topic. It, well, <laughs> but he made it funny. Something happens this time of year. I don't know if this has ever happened to you. Sometimes on days when everybody's going crazy and spending money, it's like this fever overtakes you. You have no plans to do it, but you start like spending more than you plan. Have you ever done that? I have. I have been known to spend more than I should. I, I'm really hoping. Do we have like a financial expert on the show yeah, or something who can help us with our spending? I think financial expert Michael Bell may be joining us later. And I have oh, a couple tips goodness. that I've looked at from experts before we go there. Okay. You know, it, it's all about the idea of saving. And, and a lot of people save all year and they're so good. But when Christmas comes, you get, a, you get kind of emotional. Like, I love my kids. I know that's you. Yeah. I know that's when you've done it. You've oh, been like, I love goodness. my wife. I love my kids. Right? You start spending and they're saying, don't dive into your savings. And kind of like your family, you think you're okay. loving them, but would they want you to put your, your future in jeopardy and to cause yourself financial pain just okay. for something material? Would, yeah. would, would they really no, no, want no, of that? of course not. But you know what, though? I was listening to what you were saying about don't go into your savings. Actually, I didn't go into my savings. What I did was, for people who, who know me, they know that I'm a bit of a sci-fi fan, and I have some pretty uh, high-price high, high, um, high price tag collectibles. So what I did was I sold them on eBay, and I used that money to buy gifts for my kids. So I didn't go into debt. But I did spend a lot of money that year. Oh man! Well, here you know this is another thing they talk okay. about um, to budget, to really plan and really don't don't go over it. Because yeah, sometimes what hard. happens is you go shopping for people in your family, and mm -hmm. then you see something that you need. Like normally, I just avoid shopping because if I don't have the money, I don't even want to go there. But all of a sudden, you're out and you're looking for someone else, and you're like, oh, I need one. Of that. I need, and you, you know, even if you really need it, you might not budget for it. I think Michael Bell is going to talk about this, but I wanted to close with this last thought okay. that I really loved. It said I, this uh, financial expert said I couldn't tell you what I got for Christmas growing up or even what I got last year. But what I can tell you was who was over for Christmas and what we ate. You're going to remember those traditions a lot more that's than the true. toy you got for Christmas in 2016. I love that, right? Yeah, it's, it's about true. people and family. So let's not get caught up in spending money or <laughs> spending money we don't have. Right. I'm well, telling myself this, okay. Joe. You've solved, you've got past it, right? Well, I don't know if I've gotten past it. I mean, I, I know, I know what you're saying where sometimes, you know, you, you do set a budget, but because you kind of get caught up in the moment and you buy something and you say, oh, they'd like that too. Oh, and they'd like that too. And we get so caught up that we, we kind of miss, you know, the meaning of Christmas and we want to we want to turn that around. Well, I was just going to say the good news is that stats show that as you get older, you do that less. So kind of in the below 35, you tend to do it more. And you okay. maybe learn your lesson after a few January, February where you're drowning in debt. And so there's hope for you as you age. See, it's not all bad about getting older, Joe.